Hi everyone. Welcome to November. We are in the last two months of 2023. You may be going, where did the time go? And I want to share with you, time is collapsing. We are, it is becoming singular, which, which basically means that we are living more in the present moment, not so much into the future and not so much thinking about the past. So just know that this is where we're coming as human, humankind is going this way. The collective is coming into this present moment and time is collapsing. I want to just go back to the end of October because we're still in those energies. And if you want to work with this, you can. At the 28th, there was a lunar eclipse and a full moon in Taurus. So Taurus is about our physical existence and relationships. So if anything's coming up with you around prosperity or money, you know, maybe you're fearful about struggling financially. I mean, it's a, you know, inflation has caused a lot of issues for people and uh, it's tough out there. So if things are coming up with you around finances, you can tap into this. Also, the other is relationships. You might be in a relationship that's not going so well. You might be wondering, should I stay? Should I go? I'm not sure what to do. This is perfect to create some, to create and just give it up. Eclipses are powerful. So you can just write a letter, give up all, tune into what, what's blocking me financially, what's concerning me financially. How am I, am I, am I believing that I deserve to have wealth? So tune into those feelings. Are you believing that you deserve to have a happy relationship? Are you believing that, that you deserve to suffer? So you just tune into that and just write, just journal it and just write and then write a letter to the universe and I would burn it. This is a powerful time for that and give it up and let it go. We can let so much go so easily if you're willing to let it go. Or you can continue to stay in it and you'll struggle. It's going to be one or the other. People are making that choice now. It's a choice point. We've been in this choice point for months, but it's really heightened right now. The other that is happening is November, October 31st and November 1st and 2nd. The veil is the thinnest from the physical to the non-physical realm. So in Mexico, this is known as Day of the Dead. And what they do in Mexico is they honor their loved ones who passed, specifically at this time of year. So they will go into the graveyards and they will have picnics and celebrations and go spend the day there with their loved ones. We don't do that so much in the West. So what I would suggest, if, if that doesn't feel comfortable to you, is set up a beautiful altar to remember your loved ones who passed. And that could be a loved um, family member or a pet. So I'm going to set an altar up because both my mom and dad have passed. My sister died, my grandmas, um, my aunt and uncle, my, a couple of doggies. And I'm just going to set up this beautiful altar. I'm going to put up a picture of everyone, something that meant something to them. So that could be a piece of jewelry. Maybe it's a book, a token of some sort. Maybe it's a candy they loved or gum. Maybe it's a song playing the music. And I want you to light a candle. And I just want you just to honor them and enjoy this time and see what comes to you. Because as I said, the veil is thin. So play with that and have some fun with it. Just because they're not with us physically doesn't mean they're not with us. They're on just a different vibrational frequency. And we need to just be in a quiet, calm space and just play some beautiful music. And we can lift our vibration and we can, we can connect. So those are the two things I wanted to share. The third thing is we are now in the month of Scorpio. We came in la later in October, but Scorpio is... An emotional sign it's a water sign and it's deep deep emotions and it's powerful emotions Scorpio also is the sign of the hidden so <laughs> get ready everybody because stuff that you've hidden from yourself in the subconscious and the unconscious is going to be coming up people are going to be triggering you you're going to be feeling emotional stuff and it coming up and I'm encouraging you let it go don't hold this. You can work with this beautiful energy right now. Sometimes it can feel overwhelming, like it's a tsunami coming through you. 
But if you just sit and let the emotions flow through you up and out, they always want to come out. Don't shove them back down. Because when we shove them down, it gets harder and we will suffer. So allow yourself to flow like the waterfall or the river. Are you going to flow with the river or are you going to swim upstream against it? The choice is completely up to you. But no, everything you could say in the house, we're down in the basement, everybody. We're behind those boxes that we don't want to really look at. That stuff we don't deal with anymore. So it could be stuff from your childhood that's coming up. It could be stuff from high school. It could be stuff from last week. I don't know. Things will be coming, and if you know this, be gentle. Have some baths. Run a shower. Go in the shower and have a good cry. I love to go into the bath. I take Epsom salts and my whatever oils, essential oils I want, and I just sometimes will just play some beautiful music, and I will tone and just let what comes out. Sometimes I cry in the bath. Sometimes I tone. Sometimes I sing. Whatever needs to come up, let it up and out. So there you go. Happy November. <laughs> and my birthday's this month. My birthday's November 16th. So I love emotional stuff. I mean, that's what the work I do with people is let's get deep. Let's deal with the root. I always feel just keep going, everybody, because, you know, if you go along, I, I love the gardening analogy where you can pull out the weeds like plop, plop, plop. But if you don't dig down and get that root, it's not gone and it's still going to trigger you. You're still going to be living in that life where you keep going, why is this happening again? I thought I dealt with that. It's because you didn't get to the root. That's the key. And Scorpio is the energy that's in, going to enable you to let that emotion come up and out. So if you're having any problems with that and you want some support, please reach out. And other than that, happy November enjoy the weather we're turning into that sort of windy colder days where you want to get cozier and make soups and you know this is in vancouver i'm talking about the in the northern hemisphere so enjoy the weather and we will see you next month have a look at what i'm offering if you live in the vancouver area then you're more than welcome to join in anything i've got coming up and with that enjoy let the emotions flow through you and we will see you in December. Bye-bye, everyone. Be blessed.